Good morning, ESM. I'm Kai, and Owen's gonna be here in a minute, but, you know, we can record in person, because of things. Uh, so, today we thought we'd go look back over the negative summer in a positive light by going over the top five movies, like, summer blockbusters that came out. There weren't any. It was just Mulan, and that one sucked. Uh, so instead, we'll probably go over our projections for the best five, our, our top five anticipated movies for that got rescheduled that were for the summer. Recordings from a neo-Nazi organization called The Base disclose the group is recruiting people with military skill in the United States and Canada to train operations and prepare to take the edge on what they call the impending societal collapse. The Southern Poverty Law Center, or SPLC, says a confidential source gave the recordings to them unsolicited, which confirmed their authenticity with subject mat matter experts. They say the audio does not seem to be edited. They obtained more than 80 hours of recordings starting in November of 2018. The audios are being released in a podcast called Baseless as part of their Sounds Like Hate series. Sadness was felt across downtown Syracuse on Friday as the statue of Christopher Columbus was removed. A crowd of about 200 people gathered in Columbus Circle at a wreath-laying ceremony. Many think the decision of taking down the statue was disrespectful and goes against Italian-Americans who consider the statue a part of their heritage. Mayor Ben Walsh's decision to take down the statue was caused primarily by activists and Native Americans who think Columbus isn't a figure worth celebrating because of his role in oppression and brutalizing indigenous Americans. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, for our number five spot, Owen and I chose A Quiet Place 2. You've all heard about the first one. It, there's monsters, and they have to be quiet. The first one was pretty solid, and the next one is set to come out April 23rd of next year, which is the day before Owen's birthday, so we'll probably go and see that. Um, our number four spot was the new Black Widow movie. Um, you've heard about this one, for sure. Uh, it just sets up a nice backstory for Black Widow, who's been a pretty mysterious character most of the uh, MCU, and I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, that one is slated to come out May 7th, 2021. Uh, Owen will go over 321 after weather and sports. Today we will have a high of 76 with possible afternoon rain showers. Tomorrow and Saturday we will have mostly cloudy skies with highs in the mid 50s. Saturday we'll have some sun in the morning with a high of 64. Monday there will be mixed sun and clouds with a high of 59. Tuesday and Wednesday will be mostly cloudy with possible showers with highs in the 60s. I'm Gabby with your weather. For our third movie, we had Candyman. It's like the 90s original when it comes to the horror and gore aspect, but in the new updated version, it perfectly ties in race and deprivation to just add a little more realism. I, I, it was definitely one of my most wanted to see movies, and I'm kind of disappointed that it did get canceled a little bit. Um, but its new release date is October 16th, so it is just right around the corner. In upcoming games, the field hockey team plays Liverpool and the girls tennis team plays at Liverpool. The girls soccer team played an outstanding game last night to beat FM 1-0. The SM school was scored in the first six minutes by Lena Polcaro. The golf team placed third in their league tournament. Zach Johnson had the team's low with 89. On Tuesday night, the Tennessee Titans beat the Buffalo Bills 42-16. Ryan Tannehill threw for 21 and 28 for 195 yards and three passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown. After not being able to play for two weeks because of the coronavirus outbreak, the Tennessee Titans proved all doubts were wrong and provided they were 
at the top of the team in the league. After being unable to find a trade partner, the New York Jets released running back Levon Bell, who will become the free agent Bell, made $28 million in just 17 games with the Jets. The Houston Astros kept their season beating the Tampa Bay Rays 4-3 to make the series 3-1. The Los Angeles Dodgers play, made postseason history with 11 runs in the first inning as the best the Atlanta Braves 15 to three to make the series two to one. I'm in sports. We decided to go with the new Tom Cruise, 30 year in the making, Top Gun sequel. This movie was supposed to be the movie of the summer. It had writers from several amazing classic action movies like Mission Impossible, Edge of Tomorrow, and American Hustle. This movie was supposed to be out on June 24th, but it is now set to be out on July 2nd, 2021, so. Not for a little bit. Before we wrap things up, I just wanted to talk about the movie that I was looking forward to the most. Uh, the new Ryan Reynolds movie. It's called uh, Free Guy, and it's basically Ryan Reynolds is an NPC non-playable character in a video game, and he decides to stop being that, and he becomes part of the video game. And it looked really funny, and I was very excited to see it. Its new release date is December 11th, so hopefully it will be coming out then, and I will be going there. So from me, Kai, and everyone here else at The Morning Show, have a great day.